path array tangent direction. So let's go up and well, click on path array. We're going to select the item, which is a rectangle. We're going to select my path, and I get a default uh, path array here. Now, let's go up and change the tangent direction. So I'm going to click on tangent direction. It's going to ask me to specify the first point of the tangent direction direction vector. I'm going to move this up a little bit. I'm going to pick on this endpoint right down in here. All right. So, oh, let me turn on. I'm going to pick right on that endpoint right there. Now it's asking me for the second point of the tangent direct direction vector. So what angle do I want it on? So I, I'm going to go at 120 degrees. So when I pick that, it puts the object at the tangent to that direction. And so when I'm done, I can close the array. And I've just then changed the tangent direction of my objects that I need to array.